It's a Southern Mallee Giants footy report time and Coach Coleman is with us and it is exciting even without the crowds this week in Abula. They will be absolutely pushing the Southern Mallee Giants to shore up their top three position. The Coach Coleman joins us. Come and check. How are you? Good afternoon, Flory Man. Good to join you again. I'm well, thank you. Good. Now, a lot of pressure uh, this week coming out of lockdown. The news that uh, you're going to play that round of matches that kept getting missed, you eventually, finally, in the season, you get to play Dimmy, which is going to be fantastic that you will have played every club once through the year. Yeah, that's right. It's been the elusive round for the league. Got knocked off um, early in the year with the lockdown there and um, obviously, yeah, got hit again last week. A um, bit out of nowhere, so... They just push that one week um, back. So, yeah, everyone can play everyone at least once. So there's a bit more uh, fairness in the competition. So, yeah, looking forward to playing against Dimbula. They've got some new faces in. So a bit more of an unknown team. So, yeah, really looking looking forward to it with a lot on the line as well. Yeah, they're going to be pretty strong. Most of their good players look like they've been selected. Um, we'll have a look at the game in uh, just a little while. But first, uh, why don't take you uh, to the premiership ladders. Minya Mata are on top. They are assured of uh, keeping that top spot. Then comes you blokes um, next and then Stall next um, on the match ratio. Uh, Dimmy in fourth um, at six and four and Horsham Saints at six and four. And then in sixth place Horsham at five and six. So this is crucial for Dimmy. They really need to beat um, a side like yourself above them and to, to be assured of playing finals football because they still could drop out of the top five. That's right. And at the same time, they can still make um, the top three and get the double chance. So um, us, us and Stahl, um sitting in second and third at the moment, can both drop out of the double chance um, situation. And then, yeah, like you said, Dimbula and Saints can both drop out of the finals. Um, so plenty to play. Whoever whoever hits their straps in the last two games of the year will grab that um, double chance. And, um, yeah, and if, if you lose two in a row, you can drop out of the finals altogether. So... Um, a lot at stake um, for each game at the moment. So, yeah, it's exciting times, actually. Yeah, it certainly is. And, of course, for Dim Buller in round 18 to conclude the season, they'll get Horsham, which could be an absolute beauty at Dimmy. It could even decide um, that their fate. And this Giants, of course, you get Ararat down at Ararat, which is a long road trip and it'll probably be wet and cold and raining. And <laughs> you blokes will have to enjoy the, uh, the fruits of that. But um, hopefully we can get that done and get the home and away season done. On the Premiership ladder in the reserve, um, this is an interesting one, Coleman, because um, your blokes uh, are uh, in a good place. But if they were to lose the last two games, they could actually drop to eighth on the ladder from third right now. They could. So it's um, a real log jam there, so similar to the seniors there, right down from third to seventh. So um, while they're playing, yeah, a huge one, third versus fourth against Dimmy to, to get that double chance, if they... If they um, lose two in a row they can drop out of the finals altogether so uh, the boys know know where they sit and they've been up and about on the training track this week so um, like you said with the with the Melbourne boys um, unavail- a couple of them unavailable in the reserves as well so the challenge is there ahead of us um, we didn't really respond to it last time when we were missing a few of our um, travellers coming home so um, this time we're yeah, well aware of where we sit and hopefully we can um, yeah, hit the challenge head on and, and um, play a bit better footy. Um, and, yeah, the young ones, they're, they're keen. They're going to get some more game time and, and all that. So there's uh, a lot on the line. Certainly is. So we'll have a look at the games in just a moment and the selections. But to the uh, under-17s, obviously, uh, Horsham Saints at the top and Horsham in second. Hour at third, Neil fourth and Stall fifth. Um, they will be the finalists uh, just based on the match ratio and percentage um, in that comp. But in the 14s, your lads, um, and good chance for us to have a look. Although you're bottom of the table, Dibby are a couple of places above. We'll look at the game in just a little while. But uh, the kids uh, get another couple of weeks to play footy. And I guess, uh, have they been out on the track and pretty excited about being back to play this weekend? Yes, they are. They're raring to go this, the, uh, the under-14s. They've um, been training two nights a week. Actually, Lewin's got them going and like it's purely um, driven by the players. They're keen as to get down there and have a kick two nights a week. So Lewin's um, given up in his time and he's getting them down there and they're, they're training they're really well. So I can feel I can feel something brewing this weekend, I reckon, Flo, man. The boys have had a good two months of training and had a couple of good hit outs. Um, unfortunately, um, come up against some good teams in the last couple of weeks, but I reckon um, Dimbula mightn't be as strong as the likes of the Demons and the Horsham Saints and that, so there's a, there's a real chance this weekend. 
They certainly are. Well, let's get to the Southern Mallee Giants games. And we know that at Bueller at uh, no crowds, but everyone is going to be very excited to be down there to play. You blokes get Tim Buller. Now, we've been calling for it all year. And Jonty Bellinger has been selected in the senior side. You've got Big Dinham going out. Bellinger is going to come in to the side. That is a fantastic first up senior selection for the young man. Yes, you do have your way for him, man. But um, no, nah, the fridge is well and truly deserved his selection. He's um, one of the most committed on the training track. He works hard every night um, and, he, and he's improved out of sight from the first night of pre-season to where we are now. So he deserves his chance. He's ready to go. He's uh, he understands that Ford craft um, really well and what we want to do there. And he's got some good leaders around him in um, the Webster brothers up there and as well as Hayden Drew. So um, he'll have plenty of support. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what he can do um, in the forward line and taking that next step in his footy. Oh, I tell you what, uh, there was a, a lot of uh, commentary about it on the Southern Mallee Giants Facebook page about Jonty's uh, first senior game. So great stuff from the young man. And uh, looking at who's out of the side, I guess that's something. How do you cover Denham? He's a leading goal kicker. Uh, I know you've got the two Webster boys back, but he's not the only one that can't travel from Melbourne. No, he's not. So, yeah, Dins will be uh, greatly missed. Yeah, he's been um, very prolific up there for us. Uh, a nice big target. Um, but like you said, obviously Luke Cook, he's unavailable with his work commitments down in um, Melbourne and, and the lockdown as well. And um, Fabian De Borlo, he's sort of just come back uh, playing on the half-back flank, just come back from injury the last two weeks and really providing us with some, some runs. So he'll be greatly missed. But, yeah, as we touched on at training, it just opens the door up for those those ones that have been on the fringe, played a bit of senior footy, if they can put their hand up um, and cement a spot, well, it's going to make it tough at the selection table. And, and hopefully that's what it is, tough at the selection table in a couple of weeks' time if, if Melbourne come out of lockdown um, and we've got a few um, choices to make. So that's what we want. And, yeah, the opportunity is there for those players coming in. Certainly there for them. Um, who are the uh, other players that are getting the nod again at senior level to make up those a couple of positions? Uh, so Connor McCredden comes in as well. So he's pretty much played most of the year. Um, in the seniors, but he yeah he went out um, a couple of weeks ago against the Demons, so he's he's straight back into that half back line, um, and he's he's also similar to Fridge in in his commitment to the training side of things um, throughout the preseason and the season, and his improvement as well. So the boys um he's much loved in the club, and the boys are happy to have him back in the side. Yeah, it's great stuff. Uh, a really good uh, set of young people coming together. Uh, and some of the veterans too, like yourself and um, the Clint Burdett and so forth, are uh, doing the, the job uh, mentoring these younger men on the track and also off of it too. Hey, look, good stuff uh, at the senior level, but uh, let's go to the reserves. And I'll tell you this, it's good to see Billy Allen. Uh, he's got himself off that interchange bench. He's into the back pocket. He's on the field to start the game and he'll join his mate Declan Brown on that uh, back line with Jake Holm and they'll need to repel everything if the Southern Mallee Giants reserves are to maintain third place on the ladder. That's right. Those two young boys in the back pockets, it's good to see. Decky, he'll provide um, plenty of run. He's very quick off the half-back line and he's been stepping it up at training in our in our match simulation drills. He's um, really winning more of the ball and, and taking it on and when he uses his pace, he can't catch him. So he's uh, definitely on the improve and one to keep watching and, and Billy he's uh, got fantastic skills some of the best that um, we've got coming through the junior so we'll get the ball in his hands in the back line and we know it's going to hit a target so it's good to see those young boys getting a, getting a crack, um, getting some more game time and um, yeah they'll, they'll be uh, much much needed on the weekend with a few um, leaders not able to, to make the game Absolutely, you've got to, in your uh, ruck and around your midfield some good players still in your reserve so um, don't be surprised if the Giants um, don't come out with a win over the Dimbula Roos. They will need to fight hard uh, in the match. Uh, having a look at the 14s now, we're going to have a bit of a uh, touch on this because Dimbula, they're not that far above uh, your boys on the ladder. They've won a couple of games. Your lads have yet to win. But this could just be that opportunity at uh, Bula for the under-14s down there at the Southern Mallee Giants to post a win. And wouldn't it be fantastic if they were able to get it done? No, like we touched on before, something's brewing here, I reckon. They are... Uh, They'll be red hot to go, sensing a, um, a chance to, to get a real con, um, competitive game. So I uh, wouldn't want to be standing in their way this in the next two weeks um, to finish off their season. They, they definitely deserve um, deserve one. Whether they can get it or not is a different story, but they've definitely put the effort in on training and on game day, and they're really listening to Lou. And so uh, I'll be definitely getting there early myself to, to watch the boys run around and, and their, um, yeah, 
see how they keep developing. Yeah, of course, uh, from a coaching perspective, um, as an official uh, on that basis, but we know the mums and dads, and one of them can come to the ground and um, be part of it, uh, but uh, the regular uh, people um, who were thinking of coming along not to attend because of the restrictions, but it is a no crowd, and uh, make sure of that. Hey, look, I just looking at it, I, I reckon the midfield, uh, these lads are starting to uh, gel together. Crispy and the Ruck will get uh, plenty of it. Young Frankel plays well. Aidan Credland are not a bad uh, player too. That young Jackson Moore, he'll cover a lot of territory and then up forward you've got the two Hallam boys playing there in Kybie Bellinger now they're going to kick some goals they've got some chance of scoring goals this weekend and that's going to be the excitement of this game it will Kybie Bellinger up forward he's in good form that's for sure so if we can get enough supply down there to those the Hallam boys and um, even Spencer Williams and Charlie Williams a couple of brothers down there so they'll be reading each other like a book so if the boys can get it in there enough no doubt they'll be able to put a score on the board and hopefully um, the back line can stand strong down there um, and, and hold the other uh, ruse off. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, we've got Kobe Hallam back there and young Dane Hakopa, who I've loved saying his name all season. And uh, good to see young Jimmy Crisp in the back pocket and Maxie Roberts. Those two kids will try their heart out and repel many Dimbula Roos attacks. Well, I'll tell you now, this is going to be a big weekend. It's a chance for two more rounds of home and away right across the uh, grades. Uh, excitement on the tables in Coleman. I look forward to uh, getting your comments. I know we haven't got any functions. I think the, uh, uh, the auction is online and uh, people are encouraged to get in there and uh, I think that there's a, what about a uh, hundred dress sheep or something like that that are up for go yeah there is there's a few of them floating around but no if you haven't uh, haven't had a chance to look at the um, what's available what's uh, up for auction get on the uh, giant Facebook page that's for sure and there'll be something there for everyone so um, get on there and have a uh, have a vote and um, it's good fun yeah the, the um, Georgia and, and all the crew there they've done a really good job of um, getting that to happen to, since we can't um, do it in live, probably for the first time it's ever happened this way. So they've done a fantastic job. And as everyone knows, it's a big fundraiser for all the, the community clubs around the region. So definitely get behind and support it. Yeah, great stuff. And I, I have been told that uh, the senior footballers are already out um, doing extra training in the forest, trying to get some wood off for that so that they can get prepared for the hundreds of tonnes of wood that people are going to buy. Yeah, if you uh, bid for a couple of thousand dollars flow, man, we'll deliver it right to your door. <laughs> Good stuff. Coleman, the coach, uh, talking to us about the Southern Mallee Giants and a really big day down at Bueller uh, for uh, the club. Uh, we'll look forward to chatting to you next week, Coleman. Appreciate it, flow, man. Good stuff.